Hey guys, so, um, is Shea Moisture over party? Should we boycott or not boycott? Grab your tea guys, let's sip some tea. Right, so, I've noticed that everybody and their mama is talking about this whole Shea Moisture advert on the internet. Uh, it's on several natural hair pages. It's on YouTube black Twitter went crazy. So I thought okay Let me research on this and find out what's actually going on and I decided to make a video on it because personally I'm a Shea Moisture's fan um, To sum it up basically I Don't agree. I don't agree with how Shea Moisture has gone about trying to expand their business although I respect the fact that they're trying to expand their business because that's what you do eventually you have your fan base market and then obviously you want to expand and grow it makes sense for that I respect it but after doing research and reading that they started diluting products I haven't bought their recent products so I don't know if it's been diluted I haven't noticed anything on my hair I have a stock and their older products but I heard that other naturals are having problems with these products because they've been diluted in order to accommodate other people and I think that that's wrong. Other lines um, that I know of basically do different categories. So you'd have your naturals, your 3A to 3C and then you have your 2A to 2C and then 1A to 1C and I think that that's how they should have done it. They should have made a new category, a new line, a new brand part for them instead of diluting for us because we need more moisture and we're the ones that supported them at the beginning. I mean, if I started buying Shea Moisture, it's because it was catered to us. So I thought that, that was slightly disrespectful of them to kind of dilute the products. It's kind of like, oh, um, we don't care so much about you now. We're trying to get bigger. So I can understand why some people have like started talking about boycotting and why they got angry but at the same time I think that too much of a big deal has been made about the whole thing and it's not to the point where we need to boycott them they did apologize for what they did they didn't realize and also I found out today by um, Ejiro that actually there were multiple um, series of commercial breaks and one of them was taken out of context where they were showing a biracial, racially ambiguous lady and a white lady but we were also represented in some of the other commercial breaks so to just take that one commercial break and then to make a huge deal out of it it's not really fair as well so I don't think we should boycott them. I just think that they need to rethink their strategy of how they're going to market their products to us and to the wider community of people as well. So I don't know guys, what do you guys think about it? Write down in the comments because I'm curious to know what everyone else is thinking. Is it really worth making such a big deal? Are they worth boycotting because Yes, there are other natural products actually. There's many. There's the main choice. There's Camille Rose. Are we going to boycott Shea Moisture just because of that even though they've apologized? And today they made a, um, what was it? An interview? I'm not alone actually. <laughs> they made an interview. The, the CEO made an interview regarding this. So they do care. It's not like they said, oh, we don't really care about you guys or whatever. We're going to do whatever we want. So, yeah, I think we should consider. And I don't think Shea Moisture should be over party. And I don't think that we should boycott them. I think they just need to um, reevaluate. So, that's my point of view on it, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I'm very curious to know what you guys think. And to hear your comments below. So I hope to hear from you soon. And we can have discussions from different points of view. Because I'm only seeing it from my point of view. With the information that I have. Ciao ladies. Bye. Oh men too. Bye.